You've probably heard this over and over again. SEO is slow, it takes SEO experts, designers, and developers. Heck, even an entire team of writers is sometimes required to scale your project. And what do most marketers do? I mean, like from what I've seen, they pour money into paid advertising. And that's often without proper research, which results in negative ROI. It's an easy way out. But personally, I disagree. And you know why? Because SEO is now more scalable than ever, and it can bring more results than ever. I'm talking about programmatic SEO. It's one of the most powerful SEO techniques. And more importantly, it's an amazing way to get most out of Webflow. Apply it properly and the results are astonishing. Thousands of users and a bump in your organic traffic without breaking the bank. And our clients have been doing this and also we have been doing this too. And guess what? We've achieved 87% organic growth year over year using a specific SEO approach. And that's exactly what I aim to reveal in this video. So let's jump straight into it. So why is SEO important? I mean, like we've personally built an agency earning more than $2 million yearly recurring revenue through SEO. And how much did it cost us in paid ads? 0.00. Missing out on organic traffic will impact your marketing return on investment negatively. And I can't stress that enough. According to Bright Edge, more than 50% of all trackable websites traffic comes from organic search. It means that half of all people visiting your site are not the ones you're paying for. And also, Google agrees with that. I mean, like sites that got removed from Google lost almost 90% of all of their traffic. So, I mean, like if you're not on Google, you're an online junkyard, so to speak. So let's cut to the chase. What's programmatic SEO? I'd say it's just a new term for an old idea. If you ever visited websites like Amazon, Yelp, TripAdvisor, you've visited a programmatic page. In fact, if a company offers thousands of products or provides services through thousands of locations, a programmatic SEO approach is not an option, but a necessity. Simply put, it's an SEO approach focused on creating and optimizing a large volume of web pages that target exactly the specific keywords. It sounds scary, I admit it, but it's actually pretty simple. It all comes down to these three steps, research, production, and tracking. First, you need to conduct a keyword research. We personally utilize tools like SEMrush Keyword Overview to identify the keywords. I mean, we look with keywords with high search volume and relevance to our industry. And I'd also aim for low competition keywords. You know, the ones where there aren't many high authority pages ranking for it. And then look for patterns. Ask yourself this, are there any keywords that are similar, big in number and relate to your product or service? Let me give you an example. One of our first programmatic SEO campaigns was with Webflow integrations. We've noticed that many people search for how to integrate different tools with Webflow and voila, we had a pattern. Second, it's time to create an outline for programmatic pages. Now, it comes the fun part. We're gonna be starting with an outline. You need to develop a template for your programmatic pages that displays the information potential users are searching for with Google. But you know what? I'll give you a little secret. Type the keyword into Google and analyze the top ranking pages. That always works, but don't just copy the template, get creative. Your template pages need to include relevant info, but don't forget, they also need to convert. That's why they should also include key details about the service or product, user interviews, and related content. Finally, the third step is creating and executing the content strategy. You have the keywords and the outline for each page. Next, you need to populate them with words, the essence. But how do you do that if you have hundreds of pages? The answer is you actually don't, at least not at the scale you would have to do in the traditional SEO terms. This is where the power of programmatic SEO comes into play. In programmatic SEO, you combine the power of automation, AI, and of course, the Webflow CMS. Webflow is there to set up your CMS properly and set up all the necessary automation. AI will help you speed up copywriting, especially for the sections where you just need to rewrite sentences just a bit to make them match the target keyword and the search intent. And finally, there is the power of the user. Many businesses allow their users to create content, the good old UGC, user-generated content. Leveraging UGC is a common practice on two-sided marketplaces, which match those who seek jobs with those who offer them. When the user uses your app to, let's say, create a job offer, you can automate that and add it to your target page, matching the keyword. Once the page is indexed, those searching for that position might stumble upon your page. In short, programmatic SEO lets your users write content for you. 
I can go on on and on and on about different SEO implementation techniques, but it all comes down to these three principles, design, automate, and scale. And all of this, of course, is achievable if you have a platform to be the playground for your programmatic SEO initiatives. In our case, that's Webflow. Now, here's an extra tip. After your campaign is live, monitor and optimize your campaign performance to get the most out of it. I mean, launching hundreds of pages all at once may feel like a big burden is taken off your chest. And that's because it is. But you don't simply wanna throw it all away by simply forgetting about it. That's where monitoring comes into play. Personally, we regularly track the performance of programmatic pages using analytics tools such as GA4 or our all-time favorite, DataGoat. I don't know your KPIs, but I suggest monitoring the standard metrics such as organic traffic, bounce rate, conversion rate, and keyword rankings. And there is one vital reason why analytics play such a huge role in programmatic SEO, because it's never ending. For some campaigns, you can automate new page creation whenever there is a new user post, meaning pages will continue to be created and indexed. Someone needs to watch them perform and make changes if needed. This brings me to optimization. You should continuously optimize the pages based on the performance data you've collected. Besides updating content, you may need to check automation processes, improve page load times, enhance the user experience, and so on. Sounds powerful? Well, that's because it really is. Programmatic SEO is a big deal if you know how to implement it properly. Let me show you an example from one of our long-term clients, Upwork. Upwork.com currently ranks for more than 93,000 different keywords that are connected to their programmatically created higher pages. From this campaign alone, they're getting more than 100 monthly visitors. For comparison, if you wanna get this amount of visitors through paid ads, it would take almost a million dollars. I mean, looking at that, Upwork made significant cost cuts by implementing programmatic SEO. For such big companies, it literally saves millions of dollars. But even smaller businesses could save a fortune in the long run with the right SEO approach. To conclude, programmatic SEO campaigns bring a lot of new visitors to your website. And leveraging tools like Webflow to do this will make your life much easier. And if you want to learn all of the secrets we use to scale our websites and bring more customers, you can watch our latest video in the link down below.